Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Subnautica Below Zero. My PDA actually gave me a little message saying that my survival rate would be greatly enhanced with the construction of an underwater vehicle. But screw you PDA, because that means I gotta go wherever that little PDA note we found said. It said there were sea truck fragments there. Um, and it's also said that something big chased them into the shallows, so screw you man. Uh, but let's go ahead and look. Indigenous life forms. We got a bunch of new things to check out. So, crash fish is apparently a carnivore. I forgot that. Weird. This unusual species has developed an emergency defense mechanism based on mutually assured destruction. Forward mounted eye enables the creature to identify and track potential predators. Sulfur plant. The sulfur plant has evolved to feed on sulfuric compounds secreted by the crash fish, which makes its nest within the leaves. Which makes its nest within the leaves stronger. More pro stronger, more pro protective plants provide superior nesting grounds, which in turn provides the plant with more nutrients from larger crash fish. Defense mechanism. Concentrations of sulfur build, build up in the organism over time. If the crash fish collides with something at sufficient speed, the spikes on this torso are impacted, triggering an explosive chemical reaction. Assessment. Equip stasis rifle, repulsion cannon, or similar before approaching shallow caves. Well, if only I had a stasis rifle, but at least that is confirmation, I think, that the stasis rifle is actually in the game, which is good. Which is good. Cryptosuchus. Cryptosuchus. Cryptosuchus? Maybe. Large shark-like beast, easily identifiable by its carapace of thin bony plates. Structure. These plates are defensive bony structures that aid in heat absorption among thermal vents. It propels itself with wide, webbed flippers that displace massive amounts of water. Behavior. The Cryptosuchus is a bit of a contradictory creature. Despite its fearsome appearance, it is more roar than bite. While territorial, the Cryptosuchus tends to retreat from confrontation after being attacked once. This is likely a form of agnostic posturing. Aggressive fauna tend to avoid fights if the probability of injury is too high. Assessment, avoid, but can be handled in a pinch. Wow, so I was right to not even be scared of them. I could have just attacked it with my knife once and it would have ran away like a little baby. Okay, the Symbiote. A small, fast predator which nests inside the holes of the titan hold fish and defends them at all costs. Oh. Symbiotes feed mostly on overconfident predators which attack the titan hold fish. Expending huge energy reserves to move quickly and strike their targets, the symbiote is dependent on receiving additional warmth and oxygen from the titan hold fish. Symbiotes lay their eggs inside the gills of the titan hold fish. The waste left behind is absorbed by the titan, constituting all the nutrients it needs to survive. Assessment, catch or neutralize to approach the titan hole fish. I didn't even realize these things could attack me. Uh, herbivore's large. Titan hole fish. A large, docile herbivore which emits oxygen and is defended by the small, aggressive symbiotes which accompany them. Slow, stupid, and delicious. Aww. Aww, poor, poor titan hole fish. How dare they call you slow, stupid, and delicious. Complex gills line the inside of the hole, drawing cold water in and emitting warm, oxygen-rich water in its place. Attract symbiotes, which make the whole fish their home and fiercely ward off any approaching life form. Migrates more or less at random, feeding from nutrients deposited by the symbiotes. The titan whole fish has evolved entirely beyond basic survival mechanisms like speed, intelligence, or hunting. It exists in a semi-permanent state of unreflective calm, swimming forward on impulse, fully trusting the complex e ecosystem which supports it. Assessment, valuable oxygen resource if you can reach it. Yeah, those things didn't even attack me, really. Huh. See, frost anemone. The frost anemone grows on the underside of ice flows and icebergs. The anemone's tendrils are covered in thin, stinging hairs that paralyze small fish and plankton that are broken down for nutrients. These tendrils should be trimmed to effectively harvest the edible heart. Carefully harvest for high nutritional value. Radiant sieve curl. This light emitting plant is reminiscent of a sieve or colander. Yep. All right, so that's interesting stuff. All right, and what all do we have now? Let's see, cooked food. I could cook a peeper. Let's cook a peeper. Me you. And nom. Oh yeah, and I need more water. Which, uh, should mean shrooms. Because I don't want to waste my water supplies because they're kind of hard to get. Uh, if I can help it. Of course, we do have a bunch of bladder fish in here that I should probably... I, di I did store them, right? Yes. Yes, we have a bunch of bladder fish in here that we can, uh, turn into some water. But I want to make sure I don't have too much junk in my inventory for when we go out on our adventure, because I want to be able to adequately pick stuff up. Um, I think I want to 
try and get a sea truck before we go to whatever that waypoint is, the Delta Station dock. So, yeah. You guys can go away, you can go away, you can go away. I had another locker, didn't I? Are they both full? They are both full. Unfortunately. But we have enough titanium to make another locker, so... Why not? Uh, don't we? Deployable, yeah. I was just looking at the wrong thing. I also think I want to make a beacon and bring that with me so that I can mark an interesting place if I find one. It just seems useful to do to me. Bop. Alright. And open storage. So... Oh, no. It's not what I wanted to do. Open storage. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. We got a bunch of stuff. I don't really think I need that nutrient block that I have on me. I don't know why that is out. Whatever, we'll just put it in here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we need that. All right, so there we go. Our inventory is good and clear. Uh, and I'm having a bit... I'm, I'm a bit scared that I forgot to press record right now, so give me one second to make sure I did. <clears throat> All right, the recording the recording looks good. Just wanted to check that really quickly because uh, I was I was having a bit of anxiety about if I actually pressed play or not. I mean, record or not. Don't worry, we're not leaving the water. All right, so let's go. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a uh, what's from a thingy, a beacon, which I believe we just need titanium for, right? Titanium and copper. Uh, well, I have titanium. Do we have any copper, though? Or did I use all of my copper yesterday? I probably used all of my copper yesterday, didn't I? Come on. No, no, I don't want it. These things are annoying. Uh, copper. I do have one. Cool. Thank ye kindly. All right. There we go. We got ourselves a beacon. Which will be useful. Yes. This is useful. This is good. Okay, so. <clears throat> I want to go over here. Because we kind of explored this location. I find the map on this thing... Usually isn't super useful. It, it can be. Don't get me wrong, but... It's usually too, like weird to see stuff. It, I mean, it's too hard to, like, see what I uh, actually want to see. So we're just going to turn it off for now. <clears throat> Let's go down here. Uh, I shouldn't be picking up titanium at all. We have enough of it right now. Copper is good, though. Uh, why am I picking that up? Salt is useful. Is that a sea truck part? Oh my god, it is. New technology acquired. Oh my god. We already got the sea truck. Wow, that was quick. Wow, that was quick. New blueprint synthesized. Well, let's try to find some ore and stuff that we may need. Let's try and find some ore and stuff that we may need. And you're just a sea glide fragment? Sure, I'll examine you. After I just said I shouldn't be picking up titanium, I go and get more titanium. Where you at, big guy? I hear you around here. I just don't see ya. Let's go up real quick. Oh, that's just a brute shark. Never mind. I thought it was the big crocodile boy. But it's not the big crocodile boy. I'm just gonna slowly meander our way up to the surface here. Blop. Okay, so wow, we're not even that far from the Delta Station dock. Interesting. I just want to explore a bit more. See just how, like, deep and stuff we can go now. Like, what's this stuff down here? Like, we got a, we got a lot of stuff. I think I've examined this before, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've been down here. But what is that? That's something on the ground, isn't it? Builder fragment. Oh god, okay, cool. 
Awesome. New blueprint synthesized. I needed that. I need the builder. Why can't I pick up that water? Oh my god, yes. We've we've gotten the builder. I can finally start building a base. Hey you. Hey. You don't want any of this. Out of here. Go. Go on get. All right? I'm in no mood. Out of here with your with your dumb your dumb butt. Yeah, I'm not saying ass. This is a this is a PG channel now. I don't know. It, it's just funny to call it to say you get out of here, you dumb butt, to a giant shark trying to eat me. Uh, okay. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen Hi. Is that another part? Seek fluid intake. It's another part. That's another sea truck fragment. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we're getting a lot of table coral from down here. Maybe I should just go ahead and go back and make the sea truck now. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I think that's probably a pretty good idea, personally. Let's just go ahead and get back, then. I'm, uh, probably gonna record two episodes of Subnautica today, so... I, uh... Want to, uh, get some big things done. Want to get some big things done. But now we can make a habitat builder, finally. I, I wasn't sure if, like, it was going to be different at all. Uh, from the first game. Or not. Vehicles. So what do we need? We need titanium ingot, advanced wiring kit, which I believe we need gold for. Power cells, glass, and lead, so... Nothing too bad. We already have that titanium ingot, so... Honestly, though... I think I may want to build my base first. So this may be a base building episode. I'm sorry to everyone, but this may be a base building episode. I like building bases in Subnautica. It's fun. And I... I wonder if it's gonna be any different? Like, we, we have the habitat builder, so I assume it's just gonna be the same. Uh, for a second there, I thought the sea truck was just going to be our, uh... Synthetic fibers. We need spiral, plant, clipping, and ruby. Okay, well, we can't get ruby yet. Yeah, we need a wiring kit, which requires silver. Yeah, okay, so... First, I just want to go ahead and make you, though. Which we also need a wiring kit for, a computer chip, and a battery. So, do we have silver? I don't know if we have silver. Silver? It'll be so nice to actually have good storage. Okay, we have we have two silver. Once we get our base, that that will be fantastic. Actually having a uh, good silver, so we can make a wiring kit. There we are. And what else did we need? Tools. Oh yeah, let's just pin it. Oh, oh yeah, it's just pinned up top. So we need battery and gold copper. Okay, so we're probably gonna need to grab. S oh wait, no, I have some copper. Okay, well we got gold. Oh, we already have a copper wire built too. Why did I? make that. We also need a battery. We can use one of our dead ones. Because uh, I think it gets char recharged when you make it. I think. I think that's a little exploit you can do. Don't quote me on it, but I, I think that's something you can do. Like, when you make it, it gets charged up again. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your databank. Yeah, I was right. Haha. -ha. Seek fluid intake immediately. Cheating the system. Oh, we need water. Vital signs stabilizing. With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. Advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. Where's my uh Where's my mobile vehicle bay cuz I want to build basically right under that. Can't remember where I put it. Is that it? I think that's it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So yeah, we want our base to be down here. I'm building it in Creepvine territory. Cool, cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out this habitat builder. And let's start doing some stuff. So, we need... Do we need foundation? I don't remember. 
I don't remember if you actually need foundation or not. Yeah, screw you big sounding things. Uh, so I think what we want to do to start off is build an X compartment. Uh, there's some big sounding things around here. My friend, when he played this, um, he actually had, uh, he actually had a Leviathan, uh, like a Reaper set up shop by his base. And, uh, he was not happy about this. Let's put it right there. I like the idea of having it in this little, like, cool bridge area. So my whole strength is lowered, but, uh, that is fine. Uh, how do you... How do you... There we go. Yeah, I don't like the big noises I hear, but I'm pretty sure it's just a crocodile bastard. So I'm not super scared of him. Oh, we need quartz. Damn it. I should have thought of that. Of course we need quartz if we're gonna build a hatch. <clears throat> I hope we get the ability to build the big, uh, the big rooms pretty quickly. Oh, hey, quartz. Oh, that was easy. Um, I hope we get the ability to build the big hatches, uh, pretty quickly. Because, um, it's quite annoying. You know what, maybe we should just go ahead and drop this beacon right here. Maybe we should just go ahead and drop this beacon right here. Uh, yep. Whoop. So we always know where our base is at. Blop. Here we go. And... Edit beacon name. Refuge. There we go. And if I go here, I can choose what appears. Why is it not appearing? Okay, there we go. Refuge. Okay, and we can disable... Well, we probably still want to know where our drop pod is for right now. But, uh, alright. So now we go back down here. Go back down here. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a hatch. I remember being very confused about how base building worked when, uh... Uh, I initially played Subnautica. I think a lot of people were. Oh, yeah. Yup, I forgot about that. We gotta build ourselves a solar panel first. Gotta build ourselves a solar panel first. Because uh, our only power is going to be coming from solar for now. And we can see what a solar panel requires once I get back over here, because I'm sure we're going to need some more resources to build that. But I'm just happy we have a home. We have a house, everyone. Safety at last. Safety at last. Okay, so... What do we need... to make? Uh... We need... Uh, here we go, solar panel. We need two quartz. I had a lot of quartz somewhere, didn't I? Wasn't there. Quartz. We'll probably need a bunch of that and a bunch of titanium, so... Let's grab some titanium. We also need some lead for some things. Just want to get a few of my uh, other things here. There we go. Cool. Now let us go. Oh god, I don't know how long I've been recording because my timer hasn't been going. Uh, I feel like it's probably been about 15 minutes. Probably. So, once this new timer hits 15 minutes, I'll stop. Maybe 10 minutes? I don't know. We'll see. I'm not totally positive how long I was recording. Ah, <sighs> Feels good to be making progress. Oh yeah, we're right by, uh, that spot. Where the- where the things happened. Yeah, there's like, a there's like some broken stuff over here. Yeah, quit your noises. I ain't scared of you right now. Alright, so... Refuge. Alright, so... Boom. We are gonna wanna put you... Right about there. I hate trying to get stuff like straight on these. It's such a pain. Okay, so there we go. If we go inside, do we have power? 
Yeah, no, we don't, because it's nighttime, of course. I'm a fool. <clears throat> so we gotta wait until daytime. Alright, and yeah, the thing I'm thinking of, I believe, is the moon room. We we really want a moon room. Because a moon room basically makes it so we have a big open room. <laughs> And I don't think we have a boom, boom, uh, a boom room. A moon room. There we go. I did it, everyone. I said the hard word. Okay, bioreactor. Yep, can plus things into electrical energy. Yeah, power transmitter. Extends the range of power source. Base pieces. Yeah, so we don't, we don't have a moon room yet. <clears throat> unfortunately. So basically what that means is we're going to have to work with just these little... X connectors, and that's all we've got. So, this is our entire base right now. This is our entire base right now. So, uh, something else that I need is more copper. And I also want to get that battery charger going ASAP. We can pick these ribbon plants really quick. So, we'll have enough for battery things. Aha, uh -huh, what she got in here? <clears throat> Silver, gold. Not exactly what I need right now, though. Unfortunately. Some quartz right there. Boom. Titanium. Did I get another copper? Okay, I did get another copper. So, let's go back over here, and I at least want to make our fabricator so we can actually start doing some stuff in here. And this, this is by no means a permanent base. I may move to a different base uh, at some point, make a new base, etc. Or I may even make the sea truck my new permanent base, as most people do with the Cyclops in the first game. Not really sure yet. So the Fabricator... I usually like having the Fabricator right at the entrance. And if it'll fit, we'll put the battery charger right here beside the Fabricator as well. Uh, but we will see. What do we even need? We need a wiring kit and copper wire. Uh, so let's see. Electronics. We need two copper ore. Yes, yes. So let's just go back down here. Hello? Nope, don't want you. Later. Uh, copper, copper, copper. This will probably be a useful time for me to do the, uh, material finder thing. We should get a scanner once we get enough room in our base to actually place it. We should get a scanner that just, like, marks resources around us on the map. But maybe they took that out and replaced it with this new thing this time around. Copper. Copper? No copper. Uh, lead would be useful. If I didn't get any. What's in here? Where are you guys hiding the copper, eh? Copper? No. Damn you! I don't need titanium, not right now. I like this area, it's so cool. Mm, is that another sea truck part? It is. Interesting. All right, well, I think we have enough copper to build the... Oh, okay, here's a lot. Here's a bunch of spots. Yeah, copper. And titanium. And copper. I should point out, the reason I always uh, break things with a, something in hand, basically, um, it takes one hit to break, a, like, rock or something. If, uh... Wait, where, where the hell is my base? Where the hell is my base? There it is. It wasn't showing up on my thingy, so I was like, uh. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen. Remaining. Uh, it, it only takes one hit if you're if you're using some sort of tool when you break one of those rocks. So yeah, sea truck upgrades. We don't need to mess with right now, but I'll get the notification gone. Okay. So wait, what am I doing? We're, we don't we don't want this. All right. So battery charger. Yeah, we need wiring kit. Let's just go ahead and pin that. Wait, no. Unpin you. How do I unpin you? I don't want you there anymore. 
Yeah, unpin. <clears throat> okay, so let's just... It was wiring kit and copper wire. So, copper wire. And the wiring kit is just two silver, which I only have one silver. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make some storage in our uh, base. I usually like to put the storage back here. Because I think all the storage requires is, yeah, just a little bit of titanium. So we'll make some wall lockers here. I'll try to line them up as best I can. It's, it's a little rough. So if some of them are uh, weird, I apologize. And I usually like to order things, but for right now, we're just gonna shove everything in there that we don't need at the moment. And I'm gonna go grab some stuff from my other base. But yeah, usually I like to like make some sort of system for my things, like naming the lockers and being like, okay, I'll, all like ore goes here, all titanium goes here, etc., etc., etc. But uh, we won't worry about that for right now. Um, so yeah, and now we have a much, much better way to store things instead of these stupid waterproof lockers that I frankly hate. Um, we got something better. All right, so open storage. Gimme, 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 all of you. And these will probably just sit here for the rest of, uh, rest of the LP, in all honesty. Uh, I don't, I don't see much reason to pick them up and take them with me. Uh, waterproof lockers kind of suck. I hate them. They're annoying to click on and actually open because there's like three different prompts and everything. Uh, but yeah. I just like, I just like dealing with waterproof lockers. I like wall lockers way more. So, yeah. I don't think I grabbed any silver there, did I? I don't think I had any, to be fair. And here we go. Alright, so... Dump some shit off. And look, we have so much more space than these things, too. It's so nice. And like I said, I will sort all of this stuff later. But for now, okay, we had one silver. I didn't have a silver over here, did I? Yes, I did. Okay, wiring kit. And then we can make ourselves uh, the thingy that I want. The battery charger, which we oh so desperately need. So we have to, so we can stop just making batteries when we, when we need a newly charged one. Uh, yeah, I think you can fit two battery chargers, possibly even, like, four right here. Let's see, does this... Yeah, let's do that. Okay, as far as we can, right there. Might be able to fit four. A device that can put to good use those rechargeables lost to the back of the catch-all drawer. Yup. You're damn right. I like, I like this AI. This AI is funny. Uh, so we need, no, we don't have any batteries. They're all back at the other base. So yeah, a bit of a, bit of a little maintenance episode here, but, uh, once we, once we finish building our base, and, like I said, I want to look for a moon room ASAP, because once we get a moon room, we can actually build an aquarium, and I can start putting all those eggs in there, and we can have little fishy friends, which is always nice. And I should point out that um, I am absolutely terrible at building bases in all games, so if you expect to have a beautiful base that looks nice, you would be expecting wrong. Because uh, I have always been horrible at building bases. I like trying to. All of my bases just come out looking like ass. I'm that person in Minecraft that just makes the square house, like the rectangular houses, and that's it. That is, that is the extent of my abilities. Uh, let's make sure we grab that battery. And honestly, the flares can stay. I I never really use flares, if I'm going to be honest. And I can come back and grab that last little bit of stuff in just a second. And yes, I wanted to call my house Refuge, because it is going to be the only place I will ever feel safe in this game, probably. Of course, of course, uh, Wavy Bridges area is pretty is pretty nice too. I like I like this area. It's just got these cool little bridges. And that's it. That's why I built my house on top of this one, because I just like the location. And I like them being there. 
Okay, so... Battery charger. Have a battery. There we go. Okay, and... Yes. Let's fill up some of these things some more. And we're almost completely moved in, everybody. The move is almost done. I need titanium. We're almost done moving in. Wasn't that fast? Wasn't that fast. Not really, but whatever. Like I said, I cannot guarantee these will be lined up perfectly because it's kind of just... Like, it, it doesn't have a snap feature. So I kind of just have to eyeball it. But hopefully it doesn't... It doesn't annoy anybody. <laughs> because uh, it will annoy me if I notice it. But these mostly look similar right now, except I think they're like reversed. Yeah, a little bit. What, whatever, whatever. We don't, we don't care. We don't care. We did it. We have successfully moved in. The move is done. Oh wait, no, we got a little bit more things left back at the old base, but yeah. All right. Weird maintenance episode is done. Weird maintenance episode is done. As soon as I go back here and grab these uh, last few things, we'll be finished with the with the home making episode. And everyone can breathe a sigh of relief and be excited that next episode I'm going to go back out into the ocean and possibly get myself killed by a giant monster. Yay! I didn't have to change my pants. Alright, so... Give me everything but the flares. Alright, we're good here. Later, old home. Let's go ahead and, uh... Mark you off. Don't care about you, drop pod. If uh, it's anything like the first game, too, we need to make a radio as well. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Now we just gotta slowly glide over to our base. All boring-like. Look at me. Look at how slow and dumb I am now. Come here, bladderfish. You're slower and dumber. Haha. -ha. I'm smarter than something. I'm also probably smarter than the, the donut loop fish. The Titan loop fish, I think they're called. Titan hoop, Titan loop. Oh no. That thing always looks like a giant monster to me, but it's just an iceberg. Alright, we're back. We are back. And shove more shit in lockers. Boom, 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 boom. We'll automatically turn you into, uh... Water? And I'll probably organize my shit off-screen. Like, into the different lockers, so we don't have to sit here and watch me do that. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Subnautica Below Zero off here. I hope you've enjoyed our little homemaking, and I will see you next time.